Hey guys, it's Z here back with another tutorial and I hope you all are doing great. So guys, as you saw the preview, I'm going to teach you these two CCs in CapCut. So without wasting any time, let's begin. So guys, open your CapCut and get your clips ready. These are the two clips that I'm going to use here. First one is for a darker compo and the other one is for the bright and with more saturation. So as you can see in the first clip, I have done some bright compositing. And if you guys want to learn how I did this compositing, I have already made a tutorial on that too. So if you guys want to learn this compositing, you can just watch it on my channel too. So for this first CC, what you're going to do is that search in fact called Chrome Blur. Then you have to add it on the timeline. Now make its chromation up to 51 and the blur 6. So that's what you do here. And then you have to search another effect, Glow 3. Add it on your timeline. Just adjust its setting according to me. Make its size around 6. Filter 100. And the range depends upon you. Like if you want to make the glow more glowy, you can just keep it at 20 or 30 or just keep it at 50 like me. But if you want to make it more dark, you can just make it up to 100. Then you have to search a filter called silver and put it on the timeline, but below the glow three. Then you have to adjust its intensity according to your need. Like if you want it more dark, you can just keep it at 100, but I like it at around 62 or 60. So that's you can just do here. And now you can also adjust the glow three settings here. Like as I told before, you can just see in the range. It depends upon you how much glow you want. Then the last thing that you're going to do here is add an adjustment layer, then go to its basic and make the contrast 10. And also you can adjust the sharpen and clarity too. I make it around 10 sharpen and clarity between 40 to 20. So that's the first CC. As you can see, this looks pretty good. So this is the first CC. Now let's move on to the second one, which is more bright. And also it has more saturation. You can also do this CC on the other colored compositions too, but it kind of looks too dark. So I don't really use this one. So first of all, for the colored CC, what I did is add a filter called Eclipse. Just put it on your timeline and don't change anything from it. Then you have to add an adjustment layer. Now what you need to do is make the saturation around 30 or 25. Then you can make its contrast up to five. Then you have to add a black screen. Just like I have told the same method before when I did the compositing tutorial. So you have to add a black screen, make it as big as the screen. Now you have to mask it according to your need. Like you can just mask it in circle. You can just inverse it. You can just mask it in split. Then you have to feather it and you have to go to basic and change its occupancy mode to overlay. So as you can see, this is how it looks now. And also, if you guys want, you can just see that I can just rotate the mask and it has different shading. And also, one more thing you can also add in it is that the clarity and the sharpen. So if you guys want to make it more advanced, you can just do that too. But I just keep it like that. It's simple and clean. So that's it for today, guys. If you have followed the same methods as I did, you will get these two CCs in CapCut. So see you guys in another video. Till then, bye-bye.